Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video today. Riser Dawn here, and today I'm gonna be fusing Shindai Akuma as well as Tintail's Z2, and I'm just gonna see how it is. You know, review it for you guys, because you know, I always fuse these things when they come out, uh, the most OP things, and what's more OP than Shindai Akuma, right? So today, um, I'm just super excited to show you guys, and I hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to drop a like down below, because uh, I know you guys are going to like this, and to subscribe for more exclusive Shindo Life content, and without any further ado, let's get right into the video. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Guys, let's start the fusing process. So first, we are gonna turn on Tintails all the way up to D2. And then, we're gonna turn on Shindai Akuma. All the way up to Z3. Z4 is gonna drain too much mode. But yeah, check this one out, guys. Oh my god. And look, you can actually do this as well. Check this out. Oh my god, that's insane. I'm on a dragon summoning a full Susano right now. This is gonna go crazy with um with the people I'm gonna you know show this around to. So yeah, let's uh let's see what this can do. Um let's try it on some logs first before I go into like a public lobby and show some other people. But yeah, so basically guys you already know you already know this is way too strong because the base the base attack moves for shindai akuma is just insane look at this guys summon that and then oh my god that's crazy you can literally literally summon a giant sunflower and then summon a dragon for transportation and then just summon a meteor like that that's too much for me that's too much for me if i was if i was gonna go up against something like this so uh and you know not really the best visually it's pretty much most most uh mostly tintails but yeah the eyes you can tell by the eyes that this is shindai akuma right there look at that and yeah, pretty nice, pretty nice. Nothing too, too drastic, but Limbo looks really cool. Look at that. Limbo. Turns the cloak black versus every color, basically. So yeah, now we're going to go into a public lobby and show some people what this thing can do. Alright guys, here we are in a public lobby, and wow, these guys are going crazy in chat. But yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and fuse right here. And let's see guys. Let's see this. It's just let's just wreak havoc right now, you know? Let's just wreak some havoc right now. Oh my god, look at that guys. You know, I actually wanna use the meteor while I'm on the dragon to see if I can like summon it from a higher, you know, a higher uh, altitude and <laughs> just watch the meteor like fall to the ground because that's going to be a sight to see. So let's see if it actually works once this cooldown is over. But just look at this guys, pretty cool. Um, let's go all the way up, let's go all the way up and then we're going to drop down and see if the meteor is still falling. Please. All right. Let's go. Oh my god. Okay, so it Okay, so it does kind of just have a certain range to it. Um you can't like I guess summon it indefinitely and watch it drop. So, I mean, that's that sucks, but I guess that makes sense, right? Cuz if it had an infinite distance, that'd be kind of OP. So, Let's just look at this. Maybe I was too far up. Maybe I was like 
up in the clouds so the particles I guess collided I don't know but let's try this again guys we're gonna do it below the clouds this time hopefully this doesn't end okay this should be good right now yeah yeah look at that okay so I mean it reached pretty far but it still was the limited in the distance it could travel but Still really good. Look at, like, Tintails, you can't go wrong with this. Like, come on. And then I could just summon the Dandelion. Or the Sunflower. And just cast the Genjutsu over the whole village. Look at that. That's insane. And then watch the Meteor drop. That's actually crazy. That's a sight to see, isn't it? Pretty good. Um, if you guys haven't already, you know... If you guys don't already have Shin Shindai Akuma, you definitely should go spin for it. Um, you know, however you can. Definitely utilize that free reward system to get your spins and Ryo. Um, but also, you should uh, just try to do those daily missions. Uh, the new story missions and the Great Shinda War just came out, so those are pretty good, you know, reward systems. But I guess the free reward system is still probably the best for passive farming. So yeah, definitely do that if you want to get Shindai Akuma if you don't already have it. And to just, I don't know. Use Tintails and Z2 together. Tintails, Z2, and Shindai Akuma together. If you haven't already, because it's definitely very, very powerful. You don't want to miss out on it. Oh my god. But yeah. Holy cow, these guys are going crazy. Yeah, check that out, guys. Just watch the meteor drop. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, If you haven't already fused Shindai Alchema and Tintail Z2, you definitely should do that. I mean, it's you guys won't regret it, honestly. Just don't turn on Z4 or else your mode might drain like crazy. But... New Shindai Akuma release, it's it's way too strong. Like it's it might have gotten a nerf that second move, but it, it's still it's still really really good. Cause check that out, the Genjutsu, the Susano, everything about it. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video today. Don't forget to drop a like down below if you did enjoy it, and to subscribe to my channel for more exclusive Shindai Shindo life content. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.